Hey, it's nine o'clock. It's Tuesday. It's re live, and we're ready to roll. So I hope you guys are ready to join us. If you're watching now, you're probably watching the replay. Look, I'm, I'm really like trying to figure out this setup tonight. So as my dear friend, oh, see, yeah, yeah. as my dear friend last week told me to say, if you're watching now and this is the replay, to please comment replay below. And I really liked it. If you guys watched last week, I really liked that. So welcome to ReLive where we talk about all the things. And tonight I have my very best friend from high school, Miss Kristen Taylor. She's gonna join us tonight and she's gonna talk about photography because she's had a photography business for about 14 years. And so she's gonna share a little bit about her business. She's gonna maybe give us some tips and tricks. And then we're gonna start off with some memories because you can't have your best friend from high school on without talking about high school. So, Kristen, yes. let's dive in. All right. You and I met in eighth grade. Yes, we did. So we just last summer celebrated our 20th, can you believe it, 20 no. class reunion. It does and not I'm not doing any more of them. I, <laughs> I may go, but I'm not doing them. Yeah, well, we already know that Jason Patti is going to do the next one. He already said, so this is recorded, Jason, if you're watching. I've called you out. Yep. You never know what's going to happen on ReLive, guys. That's right. It's live, not edited. You're getting it all. So we met in eighth grade. We had our 20th classroom class reunion mm -hmm. last summer. Yes. So we've got like over 20 years of memories. Do you have a favorite memory of us? Why do you make that face? Well, it's been like more than that because we were in high school for four years and then eighth grade. So it's like been 25 years. I know. I said over 20. Hmm. Okay. So if you type A, right? So 25 years. So it's been over 25 years. I mean, there's a lot, honestly. I don't, it was very difficult for me to think of one. I but. thought you were going to say it was very difficult for you to be my friend. <laughs> no. That, no, that was not difficult, but I, would, I think our... My favorite memory is when we went to Florida. We went there a couple times, didn't we? No, just once, but it was the first time you flew. It was the first time I flew. I did pretty good, right? right? You did. You had your little Sully. Scared to death. Your little Sully from Danny. I still don't like to fly, guys. I love to fly. I mean, the concept of it is great because you get there in a hop, skip, and a jump. Right. Where driving to Florida takes what? like 25 hours not quite I mean it would take long. me 25 hours and you can get there in like two hours you can two hours there's nothing better so that makes it all worth it yes so, so. we flew so it was your first flight first flight went to Orlando didn't ride one ride because we went to Disney we went to Disney mm-hmm it was hot it was hot mm-hmm you passed out <laughs> okay so let me tell you why I passed out so because it was the Surface of the sun. <laughs> and Hot. if you remember, I was trying to lose weight. Because I've when in my life have I not been trying to lose that. weight? And so I didn't eat very much because I was doing Weight Watchers and I was counting my points. And I wanted to save up all my points. So it was right in the middle of the parade and I passed out. And she didn't even know it. And then like I was like, I was oh my watching gosh. the parade. I'm pretty sure I just passed out. So So we yeah. left, didn't ride one <laughs> ride. However, we did get pictures with all the characters and the signatures because we went there first. Yes. So we left. Not one ride. A little treat. Oh, Lord. Lord have mercy. I'm going to share what I found, you guys. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> See, I'm telling you, the characters, right? That would be Kristen and I with Minnie Mouse. <laughs> what year was this? I don't know. Oh, it's forever ago. What does it say on the back? It, 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 2003. Yeah, we were out, so of, high we were out of high school. Mm -hmm. So this was a good 16. It was a long time ago. Just so, for your viewing okay, pleasure. Okay, that's good okay. viewing. That's good viewing. But. And then we went, we went to the, the aquarium. aquarium. Yeah. Which, you know, I have another doozy for them. Oh, Lord. Yep. Where we got our picture taken with the turtle. 
Yeah, they had, that was the Clearwater Aquarium. Yeah. We went snorkeling. We would have pictures of that. <laughs> I However, don't know what you're talking about. Somebody dropped my camera in the ocean. So. I did. It's not like I meant to. And so. I couldn't snorkel. She We're not do well diddly, do hoppy. Mm -mm. I want to scroll this down to see if anybody has any questions for us yet. Nope. Okay, good. Okay, Jeff, you're right. It's way better live because then you can like laugh and, and join in. So we went snorkeling. We did. I couldn't snorkel and I was like drowning on the water and she was like, I, no idea. I don't know, like I think she was a professional snorkeler. No. Because she was down there, like, looking at all the beautiful fish, and I'm like, <sighs> Yeah, I had no idea. I had no idea that you were choking and for me, but <laughs> she lived. It's fine. I Here we to are. See you another day. Yeah. Tell us another fun. story. Florida was fun. Florida was fun. It might have been my very first trip alone. Like, not like on a family adult. trip. Yeah, it might have been. That's when you know you're an adult, when you take a vacation. It. When you're... I had to have been 25 because I was able to rent a car. No. Yeah. You were 24. No, If it was no, 2003, sir. I was only 23. Yeah, but I'm a year older than you, right? Which means you're only 24. Well, shit. I thought you had to be 25 to rent a car. I don't know. Maybe you lied. Okay, whatever. I don't know. So that's a favorite memory. Um, how about any funny stories? I mean, that was funny because whatever. We're fun, but... Do you remember any funny stories? I mean, there's a lot of those, too. <laughs> Your favorite funny story, though. I was trying to be nice. Uh, I What happens? We were having a sleepover or something. I think it was a birthday party. Whatever we were doing. And poor Rianne's little sisters were thirsty. And they were mean to them. And made them get out of the basement. And so I was being nice to go up and get them beverages. Of course, I couldn't let two little kids, I mean, they were like four and six, go down the stairs holding open containers of Kool-Aid. So I'm carrying, well, down I went. Down, <laughs> all the Kool-Aid went everywhere. Bounced every step. Landed at the bottom. Thought I might have broke my ass, quite frankly. What did she do? Throws me a towel and tells me to clean up. <laughs> Sounds really mean, but it's I'm very mean. I'm pretty sure I was preoccupied with something else. Well, it was mean, but she thinks it's funny. She has to tell everybody. It, so it's quite I mean Thank, guys, thankfully not, I did not break my ass. I'm not really that mean. And you're fine. Just I'm fine. Maybe it was so yeah, maybe you were getting back at me for when the snorkeling trip. You're like, she didn't help me on the stairs. No, that was, oh, yeah. So then you're like, I'm not going to help her. I just didn't hear you. Selective hearing. I thought only men had that, but no, whatever. No, Okay. So. Well, wait, what's yours? What's my what? Your favorite well, memory. I mean, I really like that one that you just shared, but one of my other favorites is, so it was. Hi, I got my driver's license in July, and then we start school in August. Oh, wow. And I have a, I'm a little bit of a fast driver, so I had asked Kristen, could we meet, like maybe at the McDonald's? Could we meet? Did we meet there, or we lived close? So maybe I just followed I you. I was like, could we? Could I follow you to school? Well, and half the thing is they had the road closed. That was in front of Harry. Yes, we had to go and around I didn't know how to do it. Roads. Okay. She's much better with directions than I am. She probably knows north, south, east, west. I do not. I do. Um, I think those are called your cardinal directions. I don't really know. How do you get to be 39 and not know those? I don't know. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Oh, someone says they're your, that you are her favorite nurse. <laughs> Hi, Erica. Thank you. You're one of my favorite patients. There you go. That's so sweet. Yes. Um, anyway, so I had asked her, can I follow you? Because she drove, you know, the speed limit. Um, now I don't. Now she doesn't, but I'm pretty sure it was something to do with your parents. Like probably. they probably put the fear of God in you. Oh, for sure. So I had asked her, can I follow you so that I don't get pulled over for speeding on the very first day? So, Kristen, do you remember what happened? <laughs> 
Yes. I was driving along, minding my own business. Went the back roads, knew exactly where I was going, turned the corner, and there's a police officer on the side of the road parked, and he points for me to pull over. And I was like, yes, I'm wearing my seatbelt. I'm going to get one. Remember those free T-shirts you would get for wearing your seatbelt? I was like so excited. Your dad wants to know if you bought you have a GPS. No, not then, Dad. It was in the 90s. Did they even have GPS then? No, we used AAA. We used <laughs> Max. <laughs> But so I thought we pulled over. I was like, yes, Maggie, we're going to get like t-shirts, you know, that says I wore my seatbelt because everybody always wore those in high school. We were like sophomores, weren't we, or juniors, whatever. It doesn't matter. Anyway, he comes over. Do you know why I pulled you over? And I'm like, <laughs> to get me a t-shirt. Because I'm getting a t-shirt. He was like, no, you ran the stop sign. And I was like, uh, how do you run a stop sign when you're turning a corner? Like, no. He was like, yeah. And I was like, no, like there's a cornfield with like corn I had to like stop and then creep up to make sure nobody was coming so he gave me a ticket oh no 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 so I sure as shit did go to the court and did get that ticket because he didn't show Don't up live. right because if you hash now it's because I was right <laughs> I had pictures and all sorts of evidence okay, that yeah. I did not run that stop sign exactly well That's I didn't exactly get a t-shirt she didn't get a t-shirt. I didn't get she, she didn't get a ticket. So and you didn't get one either because clearly I was the one stopped, so you couldn't be. Yeah. It was, it was terrible. I laughed all the way to high school that day, all the way to school. And all probably all day I laughed about that. All of the people I'm sure were laughing. Oh. We could sit here and tell you guys all kinds of yeah, stories. Yeah, you don't want to hear about this. About it's old news. But you know what else a really great memory is? It's not even like an event, but at Kristen's house, they had a pit in their living room was like a little square pit and you could snuggle down in there and you could watch TV mm -hmm. or you could read a book, but I didn't do that. Um, or you could talk about your boyfriends. We had slumber parties. In we there. had slumber parties in there. It's filled in now. It's gone. It's a very sad day when that happened. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we, I mean, we could spend the entire show talking about this. It's already been 12 minutes and we're just going on and on. Um, I think Caitlin said something about, let me, let me. About see. me being nice to her. I know. I tried. I caught the end of the story. You were getting us Kool-Aid. Oh, thanks for literally busting your ass. Yeah, you were like three or something. Like three or four. I was being nice. Because I clearly wasn't nope. a nice sister. But I am the best big sister now, Caitlin. Okay. So, I mentioned earlier that Kristen with two eyes. And I don't mean these kind of eyes. I mean the eyes in her name. That's how she would introduce herself. My name's Kristen with two eyes. Um, it's Kristen, not Kristen. Kristen. Kristen, not Kristen. Kristen. Yeah, like Kristen. 10 the number or 10 like the tin can. Yeah, so yeah. you're like the tin man. What did the tin man need? Heart. Do you have a heart? Nope. <laughs> she does, guys. A really big one. Um, so she's owned her photography business for 14 years. And you guys may not also know this, but, well, you do now. <laughs> she's a nurse. And she... Um, works with pregnant mamas and like a little bit of newborns, right? All and the vaginas. Oh. And boobs. <laughs> oh, dear Lord, help us. She this is real live. You know, I mean, we talk about all the things, so you're just, you never know what you're going to hear. Especially when I'm on. Especially, apparently. Um, but I would like to think that I helped Kristen land her, her favorite job, her she dream job. Did. And yes, of course I did, Annie. Come on now. <laughs> no better than that. Josh, quit shaking your head. Who's Josh? Annie's husband. Oh, yeah, because you said vagina. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like so, the real body part name. Yeah, exactly. That's right. There's no shame in that. <laughs> so I wanted to start off a little bit about talking about how photography is an art because Kristen and I have talked about that several times, how it's not just um, pointing and shooting. And to kick us off, I found a quote, a couple quotes that I wanted to share with you guys because I really like quotes. And this one is by Ansel Adams. He said that you don't take a, phot a photograph, you make it. And so I really thought that spoke to what Kristen does because I have been a client of Kristen's. And <laughs> I've seen all the work that she has done, and it's more, it's so much more than pointing and clicking. So, Kristen, how long would you say you put into a photo shoot? 
Um, I would say for a full newborn session, um, standard, probably 10 to 12 hours. And that would be um, setting up, which can take me forever because I'm super indecisive. Um, actually taking the pictures and then editing them, doing all the paperwork to pay the government. <laughs> um, talking the conversation between the client and I to figure out what we're going to do, um, all of that. So I would say a good 10 to 12 hours. If the baby has really bad skin and I'm having to do a lot of editing, it may be a little bit more, but for the most part, 10 to 12 hours. So when you say talking to the client to figure out what you're going to do, uh -huh. do you really talk to them or do you text with them? Uh, typically it's email. Um, mm -hmm. I send out a questionnaire um, when somebody books with me and I ask all about them, how they want to be contacted is one of those text, email, phone. Um, most people nowadays would rather do a text. It's a little bit easier um, and it's quicker. So typically we'll do, we'll text back and forth after the initial questionnaire's been sent out. And that will include, you know, how much they weighed, when they were born, if they're being breast or bottle fed, um, any allergies, uh, any of my poses that they do or do not like, um, you know, all of the little things that'll help me plan best because when you walk in the door, I want everything to be set up and ready to go. I may have a couple of different options on backdrops and outfits and stuff. Um, but for the most part, we're ready to go when you walk in the door. So yeah, that tells you right there. It's more than just pointing and clicking. And I will say that she does put a lot of effort into her, what do you call them, scenes, backdrops, setups, setups, yes. all of that. She actually uh, multitasked one time and was a guest at one of my parties and also was stringing along yeah. some snowflakes. I, I did do that. I did. And got yeah. glitter all over my house. But it's all right. That's what you do for friends. So I think that um, that talks a lot about how photography is an art. We got some comments in here. Let's see. Um, oh, Meg. Well, we'll see you when you catch us on the on the replay on on YouTube, which you guys are watching this. I would really appreciate it if you would join subscribe to my YouTube channel, which I'll put the link in these comments later, but you can find me on YouTube, re-live, hashtag, which for those of you that don't know what a hashtag is, it's the pound sign, queen of questions, no spaces, re-live, hashtag queen of questions. And you can find my pilot episode and season, I'm sorry, episode one on there also, which shout out to my girl Brittany. We had over a thousand views on Facebook of that video last week. So I'm shooting for 1200 this week. So we we'll see. It. We'll see. It's my, it's my BHAG, my big hairy audacious goal for cool. this week. That's fancy. Yeah. Does anybody else have a BHAG? That's my BHAG for this week. 1200 views. Okay. So please share because you know, we got to get the love out there. Okay, so another quote that I found, and I really like this one, and I'm going to read it to you directly because, well, it's quite a mouthful. And this one is also by Ansel Adams. You don't make a photograph just with a camera. You bring to the act of photography all the pictures you have seen, the books you have read, the music you have heard, the people you have loved. So I thought that was really kind of like wraps all the ideas of photography together because it is such a creative thing, you know, to continue talking about. It's more than pointing and shooting. So yeah. what do you think about those quotes that I shared? I mean, I think as a, as an artist in general, every, everything that as an artist thinks about, I mean, if I walk into a store, I walk around saying, can I put a baby in that? Does a baby <laughs> fit in that? Like, it's just something that's constantly playing. So, um, I may be one of those people that's a little bit more sensitive to music, like things really resonate with me. Um, reading a book, watching a movie, family, all of that good stuff. And I feel like photography in, in a whole um, has that effect 
Like, I want you to be able to take a picture 20 years down the road, look at it, be able to shut your eyes and remember that. Remember when your baby was 12 days old or brand new, you know, in the delivery room and they put them in your arms and you can smell them, fuzzy hair and the fuzzy shoulders and the long eyelashes and the wrinkly skin. Like that stuff gets overlooked after time because babies grow up so fast in life and all of that good stuff. And I think that ba that photography captures that so that you don't forget it. And that when you look back on that picture, you remember how tiny they were mm -hmm. and all the little features that you're like, Oh yeah, I maybe had the furriest shoulders <laughs> or the furriest back <laughs> or a mullet for the love of God. I mean, we have babies have mullets all the time. So, and it's funny and it's something to look back on. Mm -hmm. And I think, it's the same way, you know, music brings you back to a time when you heard it the first time or mm -hmm. it's your song at your wedding or something like that. It brings you back. And I think photography does the same thing. Absolutely. Yeah. I think sometimes people forget that photography is an art and it does require a creative person. Like I could not be a photographer at all because I'm just like, Shh, selfie, you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, it does take you back to the time. So this picture above my head right there, that little guy talking about how fast they grow up. He just started second grade today and in two weeks he's going to turn eight and I just can't even believe it. Like that little squishy thing. That was in your garage. That was in my garage. That little squishy two houses thing. Ago. I mean, that even brings you back even further. Yeah. Was two houses ago, two houses ago in my garage, new mom not knowing what the next day looked like, let alone the next eight years. Yep. And that little squishy face stopped calling me mommy. He only calls me mom. 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 So next week it'll That's probably sad. be Rianne. <laughs> Mrs. Hall. Yeah. And he yeah. won't even let me go to school on the first day of school. He might actually go back to calling you mom. Sometimes I call my mom mommy still. Yeah. Well, Mostly when I want something. It's hot in here. It's cold. Um, so I think that those are some really good quotes that talk about that, and it is creative. Um, and her final products, like, help people see what otherwise wouldn't be able to be seen. And I think that is really important. Right. So I don't know how well you can see this slideshow. I mean, filming a picture, a computer screen is probably not the probably greatest. Not the That's a puppy. Um, that's yeah, a baby. because newborn puppies, newborn kittens, newborn hedgehogs, whatever, I will shoot it. Sh like, not with a gun. Shoot it. Like, not like click. Shoot it. Yeah. Like, click. So, we're going to lift something up for you guys to look at. Oh, Lord. This, we'll go that way. This is some of the beautiful artwork that she did. It's a, a combination of my maternity... Oh, yeah. Okay. Yep. My maternity and my Liam's newborn. newborn shoot. And so there's so much creative stuff done there. I would have never thought to do any of that, honestly. And this picture, um, I want this one. The picture of me. No, nope, that one. Right. It is that one. Okay. It's one of my favorite pictures of me. And it's like a candid shot. Anyway, so she really does some amazing work that brings you back to... Brings you back to the day. Yep. All right, so let's get started with hashtag queen of questions because I have a list here for her. All right, let me take a drink. Take a drink while I ask you this first question. Okay. When did you start photography? So that's kind of a loaded question. Um, I actually started photography, I think we figured it out to be two thousand I don't know whenever the picture four. people four five that's what you told me earlier 2005 14 years now that's when I started my business okay. but I started at the picture people in the mall the winter after they opened um, I was working in a cubicle and those who know me that does not work. I got in all sorts of trouble being out of my cubicle all the time and not somebody picture peeps. That's right. I don't, I'm not good at that. So 
I decided to get a second job um, so that I could be around people. And so I started to picture people. Um, this so the winter after that first Christmas, they were open. And I was on and off there um, until they closed their doors. About a year before they closed their doors, I started doing um, like seniors um, for family and stuff like that. Uh, a couple of uh, other events, actually a couple of weddings, mm -hmm. um, which I would you never do, do now. <laughs> no, um, but um, yeah, so I did that and then the picture people closed and I was in school. Um, I was in nursing school. So at that point I was like, well, clinical and everything like that. I mean, I can't have a normal eight to five. So um, that's when I officially opened my business to, um, to kind of help put me through school and I loved it. And so once I graduated, it kind of stuck with me. So you only do newborns now. No, actually I don't. Okay. It's a misconception. Newborns are my focus. Okay. Um, I do everything from maternity, delivery, newborn, through first year milestones. So like, and I do it different. I do, I don't do the three, six, nine, twelve. I do the, I do the actual milestones, holding head up. So when they're on their belly and they can hold their head up, sitting unassisted, standing, holding on. 2000 or 2001, Mag says at the PP, the picture people. I was going to ask if there were any Lafayette historians out here. Yeah, Ashley, yeah. Ashley came a little bit later. Standing, holding on, and then the first year, whenever that may be. Um, and then I do families once a year only um, for my family mini sessions. And typically, they're people that I normally take pictures of. Um, those are usually around, around the holiday, right? Yeah, so I do them in the fall once the leaves are pretty. Um, and I do a Christmas setup-ish for people's cards and then a fall setup so that people can hang them up. Oh. And um, then if I have a slow month, which doesn't happen very often, I still will maybe shoot a senior now and then or um, mm -hmm. Again, a regular with kill. a camera. Yeah. I don't want, like, shoot anybody. Not shoot. Yeah. Um, with a camera. With a camera. Hmm. What kind of camera do you use? I have a Nikon. That's what I thought. Mm -hmm. I shoot Nikon. D. Have you always used that? I have. So my dad actually photographed drag race, drag cars. Oh. Um, and he shot Nikon. And so the thought was when I started, actually, I started with a Sony Mavica, which used floppy disks. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And, um, I would love to find those floppy disks, actually. That's what I started with. But um, he had all of his equipment. And so the thought was I could use his lenses. Hi, Langley. Um, mm -hmm. I could use the lenses and save myself some money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that doesn't work. Digital, no, no. So, but I just stuck with Nikon. And yeah. yeah. Hmm. All right. They're all the same. Doesn't matter. Your Canon snob or a Nikon snob, they're all the same. There you have it's it. It's just the it's the person taking the picture, not the equipment. What about an Android versus an iPhone? <laughs> now we're getting serious. For those that you know, that's your I mean, I seriously, mean, how many of you have all your pictures on here? Right. And no, not no, even no. printed. No, bad. Bad. Who, who doesn't back them up? Bad. Well, actually, I think now I do because I think the guy at the phone store set it up so I could. It goes to a cloud? It goes to my Google account. Okay. I, I don't really know. I'm not a tech person. And a lot bad. of people. Like, it's so sad. Yeah. It's because you so lose sad. stuff. It is sad. And I have a lot of empty photo albums. Sad. But what I was going to say. What were you going to say? What was I going to say? Mm -hmm. I don't really remember. Yeah, so anyway, oh, life. Um, a lot of people, because I'm not a tech person, ask me all these questions about my talk show. And they're like, well, what lighting are you using? Do you have a ring light? Do you do this? I'm like, no, guys, it's totally amateur. You see my black eyes. So, they're not black, they're blue. So um, if anybody wants to help a girl out and teach me some things, totally open to that. You could be a guest on my show and we could totally do like a how-to 
make it better. Do a home studio lighting thing. Something. Um, because, yeah, I mean, one day I'll be professional. That's a big, hairy, audacious goal for later. One day I'll be professional. Got to start somewhere. Got to start somewhere. And the thing was, and I think I talked about this on my pilot episode, was that I didn't want to put too much thought into it because all of those thoughts were going to keep me from doing it. So I just jumped in head first, feet first, whatever. Let's get back to the questions and our guest of honor. Okay. So um, you talked to us about why you did it. You wanted to put yourself through nursing school, get mm-hmm. out of the cubicle, mm-hmm. and you just had fun doing it. Right. So you don't only do newborns. Right. You do families, and she will, like, come to the hospital and shoot Delivery. the baby coming right out of your I vagina. do not stand at the <laughs> vagina. I stand behind the shoulder. Oh, there are no I, inappropriate thought, shots taken. What if I wanted you to get him coming out? I mean, I I do it. Then bother me. It's always an option. There might be somebody out there that wants that. I'd let him. Um, me. Okay, so since you focus on newborns, that's um, where we're going to focus tonight. Okay. So what is the best age to shoot some of these newborns? Look at this. They're so adorable. I mean, it's hard to see, but you guys have to go to her page or something and check it out. Yeah. Um, so that's a range as well. I would say my sweet spot is 12 to 16 days. Um, it depends. Breastfed baby, first time mom, probably not going to do it early. Probably going to wait a little bit. Formula fed babies, five days and five days were good. I will not shoot between 9 and 11 days. No, ma'am. Why? What happens? Growth spurt. First growth spurt. All they want to do is feed, which means I don't get to take pictures. Oh, Oh. Danielle. Yes, you did see your baby. She was perfect. Oh. She was perfect. So they have their first. see, See, you guys, this is great because she's a nurse that works with mamas and babies. And she's a photographer, photographer, so she knows like all these things. Yeah, but I knew this their... before I was a nurse because what? I've been doing it. Because you were a photographer, it. right? So I didn't like learn it from nursing. I learned it from trial and error and lots of error. So where did you learn all your tips and tricks? And did you teach yourself? I taught myself a lot. You know, a lot of not so much the newborn posing, but posing in general. A lot of it came from the picture people. I mean, we didn't have to know settings or lighting or any of that. We literally were just perfecting poses and getting the, getting the smiles and getting Mm -hmm. the images. So a lot of the posing came from picture people, Mm -hmm. Um, but workshops, um, online workshops, workshops in person, Mm -hmm. um, practicing more workshops and more practicing. (laughs) It's, I mean, I mean, even now, you, I still have to practice. I mean, there's, I, I'm not perfect by far stretch of the imagination. I mean, there's always things I'd like to improve on, and there's always a change. But, mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. So no newborns at between 9, 10, and 11 days old. I prefer not. I yeah. mean, I'll do it if I have to. I do, you know, I work full time Monday through Friday, so the weekends is all I have. So if I have to, I have to. I mean, you, you never know. All babies are different, but, um, you know, anywhere from five to eight days and then from 12 to 18. I think Liam was like seven. Yeah. When you did him, he mm-hmm. was uh, definitely not breastfed. <laughs> <laughs> you act like that's a bad thing. No, it is not a bad thing. I tried to do it. It just didn't work it just out. Didn't work. And it doesn't a lot of times for first time mamas and that's okay. Yeah. I Bed joke, is best. I joke that he forgot to flip the switch as he came down the canal. Mm. No. It's all right. Anyway, so, okay, so you talked about how you work full time. So that leads me into another question. Mm-hmm. I have heard you say that you are very busy with photography mm-hmm. and you could do it full time. Mm-hmm. So why not, if you love it so much, ditch it, ditch nursing and do photography full time? Honestly, my number one question I get asked it all the time. And let's be honest. Photography will not support my lifestyle. (laughs) I am single. I have a mortgage. I have a car payment. Um, You know, I have freaking student loans. I have all of the bills. I like to go on vacation. Photography is not going to do it for me. Mm. It's just not. And on top of that, 
photography isn't a job for me. It's a creative outlet. It's a passion. Mm -hmm. I love it. Um, and I feel like I wouldn't love it so much if I had to do it. If That's I had point. to crank people through in order to make my house payment. Um, I just, it would, it would stress me out too much. Yeah. Um, so I will keep it mm -hmm. as my side hobby and um, continue with nursing. I mean, I love nursing too. And quite frankly, if I was, you know, married or something, I probably would have. I probably would just do photography and have a sugar daddy. I'd rather stay single. <laughs> good. That's a topic for another show. Yeah. Single for life. Single for life. And I have a couple other people I could invite on. There you go. Yeah. Hmm. You know who you are if you're watching. And you were just at my house tonight. Okay. <laughs> so um, tell us about, I'm sure you have your most memorable photo shoot. I have a series. Um, I used to volunteer for Now I Lay Me Down to Sleep, which was an organization um, where photographers would volunteer their service and their time to take pictures of stillborn babies or babies that were born incompatible with life. Um, and uh, my friend Karen and I were the first ones in Lafayette to do um, to do that. And um, we did it for several years and it just got to be too much. Um, I still miss it. Unfortunately, there's another company out that has provided the hospitals with cameras and anyway, neither here nor there. I remember every single baby I photographed, mm -hmm. um, every single one. And those are definitely my most memorable. I remember I could tell you the name of every single baby on this screen. And these are literally just the ones on my computer. I didn't even take my hard drive out. Um, but those are my most memorable ones because they, they hit you. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And going back to what we talked about earlier, like being able to give somebody something that they can look back and remember that moment. And right. Because that's like the worst day in your life. Right. Mm -hmm. And so you don't remember, I mean, even with delivery, you know, you, it goes so fast, your hormones are going, you know, you don't, you don't remember that day. It just goes so fast. And, um, you know, for these mamas who lose their babies and dads and all of that, you know, even if they don't look at those pictures for years, they're there. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's proof that their baby existed. Mm -hmm. So, um, it was a privilege to do that. Yeah. Um, and I, I, you know, I do miss it, um, to some really morbid degree, but, um, yeah. But definitely, definitely my most memorable. I imagine those families are very grateful for that, too. Yeah, I actually keep in touch with a couple of families still, and their babies would be Liam's age and older. So, yeah. That's so sad. Yeah. Hey, Sandy. I'm glad you remembered. Um, so the next question, then, so we talked about your most memorable photo yes. shoot. How about what is the most difficult part of photography? Okay, no disrespect. <laughs> it's coming, guys. But it's, I mean, this is real, and I'm just a real person, so. That's um, why I said, oh, yes, when she asked me to be on. <laughs> yes. Um, the most difficult part is trying to meet parents' expectations with my style of photography. Mm. Um, I'm not a super, okay, I'm, I'm just going to say it, crochet stuff. You know, the crocheted stuff that you get at the Target <laughs> and the TJ Maxx, the, you know, the bunny ears or the, or the puppy dog things or the, God, no, no guys. Like they're cute. They're not timeless. Like they're just not, mm -hmm. they don't fit well at all. Mm -hmm. They're scratchy. They aren't made well. Um, you know, the, the, I bought, I have. Literally, legit, you walk in with your child, and I have everything from the diapers to the wipes. Like, you don't need to bring anything. Um, and that cutesy stuff just... <laughs> don't bring it, don't is what I'm hearing. No. Save it for your at-home candid shots. No. Now, knit, knitted, not crocheted. Um, completely different. That outfit that was just on, that was knitted. It's soft. It stretches. Um, yeah. 
the crochet. <laughs> no. I, and, and I cringe and I get it. Like I totally get it. Some so and so bought it for you. Perfect. With your camera, with your cell, with your cell phone. But it's not it's not a portrait for your wall. Sorry. Mm -hmm. But truth be told. There you go. I mean, you guys want your pictures to look good, right? She's just letting you know. That's all there is to that. That's my worst. That's my worst thing. Is you know. Do you deal with that a lot? I used to, but here's the thing: is like I don't show it, right? And so one of the questions later is, you know, about what is the question? Good options or like how to choosing see. choosing a photographer? Yeah, comment. Or, you want to talk about that now? Let's let's do it the right sure. way. What is a common mistake people make when choosing a photographer? So I would say the most common mistake is choosing by pricing only. Mm -hmm. um, there are some great click and burn photographers that aren't, you know, doing their worth, whatever. And they probably aren't paying taxes either because Lord knows if you're paying taxes, you aren't charging $50 for 50 images. It's just not how it works. Um, 50 for 50? 50 for 50 or whatever it is. I mean, you're just not. Mm -hmm. You're just not making any money. And trust me, remember when I said I couldn't couldn't do this by myself? I have to have another job. It's not a it's not unless you're doing a lot of workshops and you're super fancy, not super fancy, then um, you can't do it. But you know, find somebody that you like their style. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not for everybody. I'm not gonna pretend to be. Um, and that's fine. Some people like darker images. Some people like light and airy images. Find the style you like and then seek those photographers out. Mm -hmm. So I don't have any of that crochet stuff in my pictures. Now, <laughs> have I done them? Yes, because I'm working for my client, right? And if they bring it down, I'm going to use it. I mean, I'm going to see it on any of my, any of my work ever um, because that's not what I want to it's not, I want the timeless. I want something you can hang on your wall forever and it's mm -hmm. not going to go out of style, mm -hmm. right? So find your, um, find somebody with your style. If they're out of your price range, it's it's fine. Call them. I have, I can do payment plans. Mm -hmm. I have um, lovely little gift certificates that people can buy for you. I can even print off um, little thingies to go in your, Shower invites or whatever, you know, oh. where it says like, like Target or whatever, oh, yeah. like Target. Well, you could, you know, buy a gift certificate. Mm. You know, there's different ways. I also have three different package options. So, technically, I mean, anybody, if you can, if you can afford a car, it doesn't even have to be a good car. You can afford me. I have a package that'll suit you. There you go. So, I mean, choose not by the price and that is the biggest thing because you want these to last forever you don't want to look back in 10 years and be like oh lord what does that mean <laughs> you can't go back right you can't go back and then what it's like your wedding i always say spend the most money on your photographer mm -hmm. spend it on the food nobody cares mm -hmm. get you a walmart sub get you some pulled pork <laughs> you know Spend the money where the memories are because Absolutely. when those are gone, that's all you've got. Absolutely. Which leads to the phone situation. So that brings in a good quote because, you know, I like my quotes. I said um, this one is by Katie Therms. I don't know if that's right. Katie, if you're watching, sorry. We take photographs as a return ticket to a moment otherwise gone. Yeah. And that's exactly what she's saying. Like, there's a reason you're taking the photograph. There's a reason you hired someone to take a decent picture because you want to remember it. And you want to look at it and remember it well. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be like, oh, what was I thinking? Yeah. Right. So, all, all right, right. So let's talk about what some good options are for parents that want to get some good candid shots in between their appointments with you or their appointments with other people. Yeah. So... I mean, the Lord strike me down. Are the phones a good option for that? I mean, they're not bad, honestly. They're getting better. Mm -hmm. As long as you back them up. Yeah. 
as long as you back them up, as long as you back them up in several different spots. Um, if it was me, I mean, point and shoot cameras, you know, like the power shots or whatever, you know, the point and shoot ones that you just go get at the, the Walmart or something. The disposable cameras? Not the disposable ones, but you know, the ones that oh. don't have the lens, you not like a DSR, not like the oh. single lens reflex, the, the ones that come all together, you know, yeah. the, the point and shoots. Um, I don't ever recommend those. Um, and the reason why is kids are fast and kids move fast. And unless you know manual, um, how to do all of your settings, um, you're going to get blur. You're going to get blur. The best option, even if you need, a, even if you just get a kit lens, even if you don't want to learn manual, is to get just an entry level DSR. Just what is DSR? DSLR, digital single reflex lens. Oh. Lens. Sorry. Reflex. Yeah, whatever. I'm talking too fast. DSLR? Mm -hmm. It's when you, it's the digital camera and then the lenses that you can interchange. Oh. Yes. It's not, it's not scary. Do you do photo? You should do workshops to teach people how to do oh, those. Yeah. Yeah. Every weekend. Yeah. In spare time. You teach me and I'll teach them. Okay. I'll teach you guys it. know how I like to. Even talk. if, even. What about a Polaroid? Morgan. Oh, Lord Jesus. Is that Morgan? The Morgan? That's the Morgan. <laughs> sure, girl, you can use yourself a Polaroid. Shake, shake, <laughs> shake it a little it, bit. Shake it like a Polaroid. That's How's right. that go? I don't know. I don't know either. Um, Surely I mean, someone on here Polaroids can tell me how that goes. probably aren't going to last very long. But DLLs are SLRs, if I can talk. Even if you use a kit lens, even if you put it on auto, it's still going to be better because it's fast. And especially with kiddos. Now, if you're, you know, you're just taking pictures of your lizard or something, I suppose you could do a point and shoot because they're going to move very fast. I don't know. Maybe they do. Lizards. I mean, not the ones that I've been in contact I with. I had a dream last night about a snake that moved really no, fast. No, 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 no. But I did catch him. No snakes. It was just a dream, guys. There are no snakes in my house. No, no. But that would be the best recommendation. You don't even need a class. Like, turn it on auto and click. I mean, your lighting is making a big difference. It's, that's one thing, practice. Like, go out there and just, like, play. But for candid images in between, definitely need to get. What do you think the price there. range is for something like that? I mean, any more? I don't know. Let's Google it. Let's look on Amazon. Let's Google it. Let's She's going to do that know. while I read you another quote that I found. This one is by Ralph Hattersley, we are making photographs to understand what our lives mean to us. And I thought that was really neat because usually we hire a photographer for the important moments in our life. So what what do you value? What does your life mean? And that's um, when you get those important photographers. Did you find? Yeah. I mean, you can get you can get less than 300 bucks, including the lens, you know. It doesn't, doesn't need to be fancy. And this stuff comes with, a, I mean, this is off the Amazon. You can get anything on Amazon. I mean, what I'm seeing is Canon. I know I'm an icon person, but again, um, you know, Nikon, fine. Canon, fine. And two, you can have it in two days because it's on Amazon. That's right. That's right. 200, 289 bucks. That's pretty good. Two lenses, charger, oh, memory nice. card, all of the things that you would need. So then you just download them to your computer. Yes. What's the best yes. way? I really struggle with storing them, where to store them, and then how to get them quickly to print off. Do you have any recommendations for that? So I recommend backing things up at least twice um, and not keeping it on your computer. So flash drive, external hard drive, they're cheap. Memory's cheap. Um, external hard drive it hooks right up to your computer you put them in it just like you would just a, like a normal flash drive um put it on that burn it to a cd i don't know cds might be coming obsolete i don't know yeah i don't know that does i yeah, have one yeah you do yeah i mean i have i but my computer that i just bought i had to add it on to it my okay. desktop so um but burn it to a cd put it on an external Print it out. <laughs> There's a novel idea. I know. Print it out. Print it out. And anything, I mean, 
anything, your external hard drive, your computer, put it on a thumb drive. You can take it in. Please do not use the Walmart to print your pictures. Please what do not. What can I use? Can I use the CVS? Uh, I would say out of the, I need to print out a bunch from all different places and see what they look like. But I would say probably the best place in town, if you had to, would be the would be the Meyer. Honestly. Okay. But online mpix.com it is probably mpix mpix.com is probably your best option um it is the most like a professional lab they deliver to your home they're cheap not M cheap quality pix pix mpix they even have the rounded corners so it looks all professional annie says no cv that's right no no what? why because they're they don't they the people that are running those machines just run the machines. They don't know anything about anything. Except how to run the machine. Except for how to push the button on the machine. Which okay. is why when you go in there to print your picture, it says, sorry, we're, we don't, it's because they don't know how to run it. So they're waiting for the machine man to come fix it because they don't know. And plus, a lot of those places have like built in, you know, adjustments. Mm. Cut. No. No. Don't fix what I did. So, No. I prefer okay. nobody use any place in Mafia, but you, you must Meyer. So how long does it take to get pictures back from mpix.com? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to get it to you in two days. Oh, wow. So it's like the like, Amazon. Yeah, you up, yeah, like the Amazon. And, sh and shipping is like what, Annie? Like four bucks or something. Like it's not expensive at all. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. it's 100 year, you know, it's paper that's 100 year lifetime you know it's gonna it's actually print your pictures put them in a well guys i think i've learned that i need to print some pictures but lord knows at I least have... back them up at a least lot. back them up a lot yeah of pictures all right does anybody have any questions for our uh in-house photographer tonight this has been my longest my longest airtime Two days. Two days, Annie. Thank you yes, for confirming that. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. So while we're waiting for um, some yeah, questions. Yeah, Morgan, but in. the Polaroid prints, I mean, do they have any quality, like life quality? Because I know the Polaroid prints from back in whenever, 670s, 80s, like look like cock They off. crinkle and like And apart. like turn yellow and whatnot. But now they should be better, right? She had it earlier, Ashley. To get ready. Vitamin water. I, I spiked it. For Vitamin her. water. Mm -mm. I spiked it. It's okay. All right. So thank you, Kristen, so much for joining me on Relive tonight. Absolutely. I think that you have amazing talent. Thank you. And are providing your clients with amazing memories. Thank you. Thank you all for watching. Um, I'd like for Kristen to close out with telling all of our viewers where they can find her if indeed you would like to hire her for a shoot with a camera. With a camera. Um, I have a photography Facebook page. It is KT Photography Lafayette. There are probably hundreds of KT Photographies. Make sure you add the Lafayette. Um, my... It says it, there's a little. It's your shirt. My oh yeah, this is my logo, and it's in the yeah, and it's in the uh, little photo thing when you. There you go. You know we'll put the link in the we'll put the link. Yeah, in. yeah. We'll put the link in. Yeah. KT for photography Lafayette dot. No no no, it's just on Facebook. Oh oh oh, so I don't. Can we put the link in? I don't really know. You can. KT Photography Lafayette. Mm -hmm. Oh, so your logo is your profile picture is what you're trying That's to say. That's a profile picture. We got there, guys. Y'all, I've been working all day. We got there. We got there. I'm telling you. So, also, thank you to all my viewers who have stayed with us this entire time. I yes. hope you've had fun. I want to tell I'm so you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I want to tell you about next week. Next week is episode three. But, of course, it'll be my fourth time airing, but my third episode because I had the pilot episode. So, pilot, one, two, next week's three. And next week brings the very first re-road trip. What? 
Do you need directions? I might need directions. <laughs> well, I'm going downtown Lafayette to Mad Love Boutique. And next week's topic is fall into fashion. Mm -hmm. So I think there's going to be a little fashion show. We're going to talk about super trends. cute stuff. I'm super, super excited. Cute. So the owner, Stephanie Deckard, has agreed to let me come in and kind of check things out. And she is also my neighbor, so I'm hoping I can just follow her <laughs> downtown. It's like right down by the McCords. Do you think I can get the candy cane? Or some no. cherry coke? Maybe. Yeah, I don't drink. Not at 9 o'clock at night. No, but if I go earlier, right? Mm -hmm. So, guys, thank you so much. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll put the link in the comments. And then I think next week we might even be YouTube live. So, who knows what it will bring. So, thank you all. Have a great night. Bye. Sweet dreams. There's a lot of people going to